Spain has announced the dismissal of its spy chief on suspicion of illegally spying on the mobile phones of government officials, including the prime minister. Three phones were infected. We already informed about two of them on May the 2nd, the Prime Minister's phone and the Defence Minister's phone. The third one was the Interior Minister's. It happened on June 2021, like the one from the Defence Minister. There were also attacks with Pegasus on the Agricultural Minister, but they failed. The controversy first erupted last month when a Canadian digital rights group discovered that more than 60 people linked with the Catalan separatist movement were being spied on using Pegasus spyware made by Israeli NSO group. This prompted Catalonia's pro-independence Republican left party, a key ally of the Spanish minority government, to say it would not support it until Madrid took measures to restore confidence. We will keep working to improve in order to avoid any security breach so Spaniards can feel safe and they can feel they live in a complete democracy, that responsibilities are assumed within the law and that this government and all its organisms comply with the law. But last week, the interior minister claimed only 18 Catalan separatists were spied on and each one was compliant with a court order. Pegasus says it only sells its product to governments for use against criminals and terrorists. The software gives the user access to almost all the data on a mobile phone. And last year, an investigation revealed 1,000 individuals across 50 countries were selected by clients for potential surveillance since 2016. Most were journalists and activists in nations such as Egypt, Saudi Arabia and India. In response, the public is asking Spain's minority government to declassify documents and launch an investigation committee. But critics say more transparency is needed for democracy to function in Spain. Mehmet Solmas, TRT World. Yeah.